here we go. Jackpot. Yeah. Now we're in the basement. Ah, now we get into the fun part. <laughs> the mechanicals. Brick arch over us with mm -hmm. steel crosses. Well, I've studied it from the outside a little bit. Yeah, it's one of the stronger architectural methods to have those arches. So is, I'm guessing that this is all what, hot water or is it steam? Mm -hmm. yep. it is Some hot. of it, and, you know, I don't know the uh, finer details. Oh, sure. The heating system and things like that. Um, but they did have the coal powered and then they did have that back up with the, of the piece. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Gee whiz, this is cool. All right, folks. So here we are in the kitchen. Uh, you can take a look in one of the pantries. We have decorated with some era-appropriate furnishings. So take a look in there if you'd like. Over here on the table, we have some primary source documents from one of the household staff members. Uh, a little bit about the staff. We talked a tiny bit about them on the third floor. But here is a better spot to talk about them because this floor, the basement, was first and foremost a big servant place. So the family didn't come down here unless it was for something very specific. Uh, Mary Hill, if she had a specific dish that she wanted to make herself, or if she was making her own wine, which she did, uh, then she would come down here. But by and large, this was just for the staff. Now, it was predominantly a female staff, uh, mostly uh, Working class unmarried women. At that time, if you were working class female and unmarried, you had limited job options. And once you married, you were expected to leave whatever job you had and start running your own household. They actually cycled through female staff pretty quickly. A lot of the staff in a household like this were also an immigrant staff, first and second generation, mostly Scandinavian or German. Uh, they actually put an ad in the paper asking for uh, a potential health plan preferably of Scandinavian descent. Now, I'm not really sure as to why they had that preference, uh, but this was also a tumultuous time for immigration. So we'll see how this GoPro does in dark, dark situation. Now, these documents that I mentioned, these were things like dinner menus, receipts from the butcher or the grocer, things like that, that were taken out of the garbage by one of the household staff members. Her name was Celia Tower. She's in that photograph on the table, wearing the black dress. She was a second generation German immigrant. She worked here in the kitchen as a cook, and she took those out of the garbage and sent them home to her family, just to give them a glimpse into the lifestyle of the very, very wealthy. Uh, so that's how we have been able to figure out what they were serving for specific holiday meals, how much they spent on each other. They did fit in this particular room because it was more supervised,
So take a look in the drawing room, and then we will make a quick stop down to the boiler room. So quick question. Yes. Excuse me.